Yeah, so welcome back to another vlog. It's actually Tuesday and uh, I'm looking a hot mess. Just got home from work and I didn't vlog it all yesterday. What's that? Like all yesterday, I was so tired. And then I came home today and now I'm here. We get to work remote tomorrow because they're doing some stuff to our building. So um, he approved for us to work from home tomorrow. So tomorrow will be a work from home type vlog. But really I was just clicking in to say, hey, before I let the week get by me, um, tomorrow's already Wednesday. Our fish camp is officially Thursday. And then we have a back to school bash on Friday. So it's rolling. And then all the teachers come back on Monday. So tomorrow while I'm at home, I'll try to, no. Tomorrow while I'm at home, I'm gonna prepare some PowerPoints for our first PD day. And yeah, do some work from home stuff. But y'all, I'll talk to you later. I'm so tired. I need to I need to get back into the routine, get back into the swing, but it's so hard. Oh, it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle, but we'll get there. I'm about to go shower and lay down, so I'll talk to y'all later. Tell y'all yesterday that we got to work from home today. So last night, I washed my hair and it's not dry yet, which is a problem because I need to curl it before tonight is over because, I mean, I could curl it in the morning, but I just like to have like the base. You know when you do real good curls the night before and spray it and then just touch them up in the morning? Anyway, it's going off on a tangent as always. So today I was able to get some work done because, what is that on my chin? Alright, I don't know this. Um, I was able to get some work done because our teachers come back on Monday and we have to do some PD things with them, which is professional, professional development. Um, teacher talk. Um, if you're a teacher, you get it. But um yeah tomorrow's fish camp friday is our back to school bash then monday like i said we start training so even though i started school about two weeks earlier i can honestly say these this week these two weeks have it's gone by super fast like because I, I still have we still have a ton of work to do so um, our GLA team, we have to do a bunch of PowerPoints that we have to present um, next week. And so I started on those today, but I was going through them today. And we have to sit down as a team and like, you know, add to them and decide, you know, they have to put their input in on them. But I'm like, damn, we still got a lot of work to do. <laughs> and um, it's getting kind of hectic because tomorrow is, uh, like I said, tomorrow's fish camp. But... Um, it's also Brie's back to school bash tomorrow as well. Ours is Friday. The, the uh, elementary is doing theirs on Thursday. So I have to make it over to her school tomorrow um, when I leave work. And then the back to school bash is the next day for us, which is over at 3, which is basically time for us to go home. But it starts at 11. So I'm thinking we can get some work done before 11 o'clock. Anyways, I'm talk I'm thinking out loud. I'm talking to y'all about what I need to do, which is none of y'all's concern at all. So excuse me. It's just a little teacher talk, but y'all get it. You get it. You y'all get it. Um. So now I'm just waiting for my hair to dry, so I could curl it. It's still kind of damp. I think I could curl it this wet though. I don't think. I think it'll be alright because it's still it's dry for the most part. Yeah, it's dry for the most part, so I'm gonna go ahead and curl it. And uh, and then by the time I'm done with this, I'm going to be making dinner. Um, I've been doing really good on my workouts and pretty okay on my diet. I'm tightening up way more. And this is the positive about Working is getting back into a routine. This is the part that I love the most about working is getting into a routine because when I'm home, it's so hard. It's so hard to, like, if time is yours, that's what I said. I talked about this, like, in a vlog a few years ago. Like, really kudos to full content creators because 
when time is on your time, it's so hard to get up and create a routine. Like, no one's, I don't have to do it. Like, it's so hard to get up and create a routine. Like, over the summer, it was just, I did create a routine, but it was like, later on in the day so the day would kind of get past me a little bit because I wasn't waking up to like 10 11 o'clock I know that's not even like me but this four back to this four o'clock a.m morning routine working out making my shake um I'm about to, uh meal prepping up and moving and then come home and then having to go to bed because you're so tired so therefore you don't snack like you don't even have time to think about snacks you don't even want a snack it's lovely it's lovely i mean there are pros to having um structure and don't let people think you don't let people make you believe the only way is um that don't let people make you believe that structure and having a job is not is a bad thing because it's not. There are pros that come with. There's pros that come with entrepreneurship. There's cons that come working a job. There's cons that come with entrepreneurship. So everything's just really just about your preference. My goal is to. Um, I want to start a mentorship program. Like that's my goal. Literally a mentorship pro mentorship program for young girls and mentor girls mentor girls across the world. That's my my ultimate goal. I don't think I've ever talked about that to anybody. Um, no, I don't think I've ever talked about that on my vlog. Like, I only talk about that type of stuff to my husband. But that's my ultimate goal. Um, and to do something more with Shea Jewels. So, yeah. But until then, I will enjoy the structure that I have. Because I know it's not long term. So, you know, just keep working towards your goals. But enjoy the pros of the life that you have. Take out the pros. Everyone's always focused on the cons. But what are the pros? Because there's a lot of pros. If you just... You know, zoom in. There's a lot of pros. But I just went on a tangent. Now I'm about to get up, curl my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and curl this hair. It's still kind of wet though. I wonder if I should just curl it in the morning. But in the morning time, I don't have time to curl my whole head. I have to do it right now because we're just gonna have to thug it out with it being a little damp. Because I just don't have time. I'm using the Babyless Pro, best curling iron I've ever had, hands down. I am not a professional at this. I just do what I know how to do. And everyone has different preferences on how they curl their hair. And you just gotta go with your preference. Some people like to curl this way. I don't, I don't get how to curl that way. It's weird how hands work. <laughs> like. Do y'all have a better hand and a better side that you could curl on? This is definitely my better side. Like, I can I can do my thing on this side. This side is always a struggle. Like, it never, it never fails. So, these curls are a little wet, but I think they'll be okay. And if I have to, t I'd rather touch them up in the morning than to be curling my whole head in the morning. Cause no. Okay, you know what? I'm rushing. Let me just, let me let this hair dry. That's the first solution. It just needs to dry. I still have time. It's, it's still kind of early. I'm going to let this hair dry and then we could curl it because these wet curls see how y'all can't see but this side is super wet and I would just really be working backwards ain't no sense in doing that girl just slow down and let it dry
greet y'all good morning it's the top of the morning today is fish camp so uh, me and Brad are about to head out just a little early uh, so I can get there just to teach early to try to set up some things I need to set up but um, yeah I worked out this morning I have my lunch grab all my things really fast and um uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm gonna take I'm about to pack my lunch up real fast. I have a new I have a new lunch box, guys. Isn't that cute? I ordered it off of Amazon, of course. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh-oh. Let's test it out and see what it's about. Cause I like for stuff to fit in my lunchbox. But um, other than that, nothing is really going on. Just trying to get out of here for the day. And um, I don't know if I'm taking my camera or not. I may because I want to show y'all my class. Yeah, we'll go. Let's let's head to the school. Girl. Okay, let me give y'all a brief overview of my room. Brief overview of my room. So these anchor char charts, my instructional coach gave me because she used to be a biology teacher, which I'm grateful for. Then we have some posters over there. My inspirational wall I do every year. More posters. Um, over here is the daily vocab wall. I'll walk over there in a minute. Board, which I did the trim with no background. I like it that way. And let's see. Here's the daily vocab ball. So that is what we're working with, y'all. And then, like I said, I got the cheers pom poms and then my inspirational wall, which is always exciting um, over here. So I'm loving it. Oh, and then here's my desk, my actual desk. Have some quotes, the Davis lights, and then, of course, my school stuff. And that's about it. Candle warmer. If you don't have a candle warmer, you should get one. Because they make your room smell very good, y'all. And then just some more quotes up here. And um, more quotes. And that's about it. And then this is my working table where I sit at all day. All right, you guys. So, question is, how did the day go? I'm back home from school. We had to leave a little bit early again today because we're trying to get our floors together in our building because we have like different trainings and stuff going on next week. All the teachers come back on Monday. We have a back to school bash tomorrow. So it's a little hectic. But we have fish camp today. How did it go? Mm. Camp went, it went pretty well. Each group is always different each year. I mean, <laughs> try to take the shoes off each year. So, yeah, this group of kids, this group of kids, uh, um, I can't wait to get to know them. It seems like, so last year when we had fish camp, I remember I was talking to y'all about it. And I was telling y'all how like the kids were like quiet and some of them talked, some of them didn't talk. But this year, none of them talked. Like, None. Now, granted, last year, granted, last year I had three days, three days of fish camp. This year was only one day for four hours. So, of course, I'm not able to crack them as much as I would like to on the first day because, like, you know, you get in, half of them are getting dropped off, half of them don't want to be there. So, it's just a point of just trying to connect with them in those four hours. And then, um, was having technical difficulties with our microphone so it was just a lot going on but um towards the end some of them start like coming out of their shell a little bit but for the most part i mean like like don't even say good morning <laughs> like like had to tell them like our counselor came in and she was like good morning She's like, are y'all not happy to see me? Good morning. They were just looking at her like she had two heads. And I was like, um, can y'all say good morning? Like, hello? Like, <sighs> so it was interesting. But I'm not going to spend all day talking about that. 
I did order those shoes. So y'all, I didn't realize. So when I seen the Versace heels, Versace um, heels from um, Beyonce, when Beyonce first posted them in red, I think, fell in love because I love platform shoes and other platform heels if anybody knows me you know that i love platform shoes and i love platform heels so when beyonce first posted these shoes i was like oh my gosh these are the perfect heel so i show them to my husband and i can only pick so many items for my birthday and when I looked on Lulu's, y'all, I told y'all the ones that I had previously, they kind of were, I thought they were a dupe. I didn't get them because they were a dupe, but I got them because it's the same kind of platform. Because like platform shoes. And I was like, oh, these are really cute. But here's what the heel looks like from Versace. I know I'm saying that wrong, but Versace, Versace. Here's what the heel looks like. This is the one I sent to my husband. I can only get so many gifts for my birthday. So when I ordered these ones off Lulu's, I was like, oh, these are really cute. They look like the Versace heel. Not because I'm trying to get a dupe, but because they're cute. Y'all, these heels look dang near identical. Uh-oh, I got something on it. These look identical. Only thing is, the ones on um, Versace, they're a hot pink instead of a, of a, instead of a powder pink. But see how it has that double wedge on it? Same like square heel. And that's the part I was like, oh, that's so freaking cute. I don't know, look this similar. I mean, seriously, I got it and I was like, okay. These are an exact replica. You know how like you can order like a fake or an exact replica? I was like, it's almost so much of a replica. I'm like, I don't even know if I want them because I don't want people thinking I'm wearing fake Versace uh, heels, but I'm like, to hell with it. I'm gonna keep them, they're super cute. And it's okay to have a dupe. It's not like it's a fake Versace heel. You know what I'm saying? We can, you know, you can buy fake Louis, you can buy fake Chanel. I don't buy fake brands, but I will buy a good dupe. And this is a good dupe. So I'm not mad at that. I didn't expect it's like this identical. They're super high though. If you have a hard time walking in high heels, these shoes are not for you. These shoes are super. This heel, it may not look that high because it didn't seem that high to me when I bought them. Oh, honey, this heel is super high. Like, there's something on this one though, and I don't know what it is. Y'all left my camera on all night. Oh, this was 7%. Okay, well, it's Friday, and um, I'm actually running a little late because I kept snoozing my alarm, but it's Friday and um, we're about to go, but my camera's about to die, so I'll see y'all later tonight. And yeah. All right, you guys. We need to do some catching up. So it is actually Saturday and um, I've been home all day by myself. I have no kid and my husband is gone um he'll actually be here in about 30 minutes just to be honest so um yeah so what's going on with my dress oh nothing so i'm home alone i don't know what to do with myself so what i've been doing is watching the maid i had to drop samantha and nick off to get groomed this morning and then i went and i got a wax um so just like Y'all know, just general maintenance. Y'all, my underarms, okay, this is TMI, but hey. My underarms were so, I haven't even looked at them. I don't know why I'm putting it in the camera, hold on. Oh my girl, okay, never mind. I'll do that on my own time. But my underarms were so hairy that last week I was, I had to make sure I wear the proper shirts because if I would lift my under, underarm up, they would be like, Miss Ma'am what is going on and that's because they had to keep rescheduling my wax appointment and i was like okay look here we can't schedule again i have to get stuff done before school starts so took care of my business this morning and now i'm getting ready to go to target because i just have to get like um some rice some pears i did most of my meat already from whole foods now i'm just gonna go to target 
get the extra little things that I need. So I'm like five things. I'm sticking to the plan because I'm really trying to monitor how I spend this month. Because I don't know what's been going on. I don't know what's been going on. But I'm really trying to monitor my spending. So I'm sticking to the plan. And other than that, I've been watching The Maid, y'all. The Maid is so good. I know I'm, like, behind. I know um, it's like people have already watched it. If you haven't watched it, I suggest you watch it. And, yes, I shed a little tear. The part at, at, on the first, I think it was the first episode. Because let me tell y'all why really fast. That show, it teaches you humbleness. Because I really do. Like, I I thrive on being humble. Like, you have to be a humble person. And you have to have a humble heart. You do. Um, coming up, uh, growing up with a single mother, it really just touches home. Like, it touches home. It just, it shows you how big mothers sacrifice for their children and are willing to spend their last, like, literally their last for their children. Um... And how the part where she was, go if you haven't watched it, I'm sorry. The part where she goes to buy her the mermaid after she drops it off the highway or whatever. And like she had 85 cents or something. I shed a tear. Because I was like, if that's not humbling. And I know it's just a show. But yeah, I'm the crybaby that cries on movies. If y'all are like that, you get it. Some people act like, why do people cry? when It's, it's sad. Tap into your emotional side. It's sad. Okay, do you not have emotions if you don't cry over movies and shows? I don't know, but I do. So, when she's, I thought it was so emotional. And there's so many other parts in that show that just captivates your emotions. Like, just her, every time, like, the screen comes up and it deducts money off of what she's, like, trying to save. And, like, when she goes to work and she's in the negatives, I'm just like, my gosh. Like, God is good, y'all. And I know it's just a show, but it really makes you put your ish in retrospect and to be like, there are really people in this world that have to live balancing negatives. Like, it's, it, 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 it just makes you humble. And it just, it just, when you think your situation is like not the best or what you don't have, you got to focus on what you do have. Because a lot of people don't even have what they need. And that's just, that was just, it was just so touching. And I just like it. I love the show. If you haven't watched The Maid, I suggest you go watch it. It's really good. Let me know if it makes you tap into your emotional side because, y'all, it has me in my feelings. And it has me in my mental. Just being like, girl, wake up. You're thankful. You're, you're beyond blessed. Like, and I know I'm blessed. I know I'm blessed. But that just puts it in, like, perspective. You know what I'm saying? Because it just taps into, like taps here and it hits home like I remember like I said I, I, I grew up with a single mom y'all so there were many sacrifices that we had to endure seriously it, and, and it, it really just touches home so I don't know if my mom had to watch the show and I was going to text her today and ask her um, like she needs to watch the maid because it's it's good it's really good but but I'm going to end this vlog here because otherwise I'll be talking for another 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and do my Target run. And um, I will see y'all in the next vlog. And I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, the people who do watch take out the time to support my channel. I appreciate every last one of you guys. And I thank you guys so much for watching. And... Um, also teachers most teachers are going back this week so uh good luck you guys got it we have to be ready to adjust with changes and just go into with a positive mindset uh we we have the ability to do something that everyone cannot do everyone cannot stay teachers let's just put that there um people quit left and right but we are the superheroes that stay on board and not saying if you quit like you're weak or anything like that but it's just not everyone's cup of tea okay so if you're still in it, you're in it to win it. And we are doing the dang thing. So good luck to y'all. I will see y'all next vlog because I really have to get out of here. Not like y'all care. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see y'all in my next video, y'all.